Time to introduce a new ride line for Lyrgul Monasterio, which is also supposed to be all powerful but not really. So let's begin, but first, cards for the last few days. So first, we start off with a triple rare, Synthetic Sky Lumidita. Grade 1 Ink Mountain Skillus, Auto Regard. At the end of the battle that this unit boosts this cost, so last one, perform all the following abilities depending on the songs you sung this turn. Romantic Happiness, choose one of your units and it gets plus 5 key power to end turn. Twilight Sound of the Waves, look at the top card of your deck. Matter Red Runaway, you may return this unit to your hand. Six Flower Fractail, cost, discard a card from your hand and draw a card. They're all just okay abilities, but it's not expected too much since it is a grade 1, but it is nice to have all these abilities that could be activated in one turn because it is possible to activate multiple songs in a turn. Usually two, but it is possible to get three and at most even four actually because you do have rear guard support cards that could actually let you play another order in a turn. So this is overall not too bad. Next, a double rare, smiling together, jeez yeah. Grade 2, take your parents ghost. Count Guardian, all your next current units get plus 10k shield. Not bad. Second skill, Count Guardian, all your rear guards with your next current cannot be hit. I mean, second skill would be nice if it also works on Vanguard, but if there is a situation where your opponent's trying to get rid of your Ernest Kernak rear guards because you need one of each, this could be a PG for that. But overall, this is okay. It's not very necessary, and I prefer the consistency searcher grade one over this. Although you do have quite a bit of draw powers in Ernest Kernak, so it isn't too bad to run this, but I do prefer the consistency searcher. And now for the Tuesday stream, time for the powerful ride line. Here's our starter, Cutie Tropic Rabenna. And into the Grade 1, Snipping Eiffel Lorenji. Grade 1, a current skills. Act Vanguard Rearguard. Once per turn, cost Soul Blast 1, discard a card from your hand, and draw a card. This will combo off with the second skill because the second skill is powerful. Count Vanguard. If your soul has no cards, when you would ride the Grade 2 from your ride deck, you can ride it without discarding a card. So first skill combos out with the second skill because in powerful state, you want to be soulless at all times. Well, I guess now you have an excuse to use those soul heavy cards. And then to go to the grade 2, attract Peach and Dreams. Grade 2, Tank of Power Skills. Count Vanguard Regard. When this card attacks, plus 2k. Okay, nothing special. Second skill, powerful. Same skill as the grade 1, except that it's for the grade 3. Nothing special, but unlike the grade 1, this card cannot feel its own second skill. So you will need to rely on those soul blast cards. Finally, coming Beauty Erminia. Grade 3, 13 power and skillless. Act Vanguard, cost count boss 1, this card gets us 5k into an end turn. Keep in mind, this is not once per turn, and it actually combos well with the second skill, because the second skill is powerful. Auto Vanguard, at the end of the battle that this unit attacks, if you have 0 cards in the soul, and 0 face up cards in the damage zone, cost discard a card from your hand, choose one of your rear guards with a powerful ability, and stand it. And then the next time you would counter blast, reduce it by 1. I mean, nothing too amazing, you have to use up all your resources just to get a re-standing rear guard, but luckily it does solve the counter blast problem so it isn't too bad and based on the keyword powerful i guess the idea is that you're going to charge up all your resources basically all your mana reserves for one big attack which right now it doesn't seem too powerful to me but i see this card being more rear guard centric so in a way this might be a little bit like an all mile deck but right now we can't really judge it until we got those rear guard support which we do got one in the tuesday stream which our only rear guard support for the ride line in the stream is baffing fountain tulis grade 3 13 power and the skill is powerful. Auto rear guard. When this card attacks a vanguard, if your soul has no cards, cost card boss one. Until the end of the battle, this card gets auto rear guard. When this card attack hits, draw a card. And then choose one of your other units and it gets plus 5k power to end a turn. So you send this with your vanguard, you can basically counter blast zero to activate skill, except that it requires you to attack hit to get any benefits from it, so it's not even that great. Yeah, so far the archetype isn't too powerful. So that's it for these reveals. What do you guys think about the powerful ride line? So far, nothing special. It's not even amazing at the moment, although I do see it being a rearguard centric deck based on its skill. And at least now you have an excuse to be wasting Counter Blast and Soul Blast, so it isn't entirely that bad, especially the first that does have plenty of those cards. We just need to really hope for the good support cards for this deck, otherwise, this deck isn't really powerful. But in that, see you all next time.